Oh, honey, it's not for you. Hey, guys. I hate... I... Okay. Hey, guys. I've had a couple of requests about... <laughs> hey, guys. Um... I hate intros. Hey, guys. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna get started. Hey guys, I'm gonna make a video, and I was gonna say a quick video, but if you know me, I keep talking, 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 so it's probably not even gonna be quick, about Bentley stuff. People ask me so many questions about what I use, and what I like, and what I don't like, and how I have this puppy set up, so I figured I would just make a video and do it. And it'd probably be a super good intro if I was like holding him, and we were having a sweet puppy moment, but I'm a really bad mom, and he's not even in my room right now. Bentley! Come here, my bulb. There you are, my bulbus. <gasps> hi! Tell everybody hi. This is my puppy. I'm not gonna take your stuff. His name is Bentley Bear. Bear is his middle name. And his last name is my last name. Because I don't have a puppy daddy. He's six months old and he is a Maltese. I just had him groom recently, so his coat's very short right now. He's in a puppy cut, growing out his top knot. But the groomer didn't listen to me, and they pretty much hacked him. But he's like half Chia Pet, and he grows super quick. The number one thing, his house. <laughs> I get the most questions on his setup. This over here, this is the remnants of his first setup. It's an iris pet pen, and I took it apart. I think it was a really great product. I'll like link a picture to it. It's just made of lightweight plastic, and he was able to get out and move it from one side of my apartment to the other side. I even put weights on top of it and he was still able to move it. I wanted to get him something bigger that he couldn't get out of. Now, he's trained indoors. I don't know how I can do this in like an organized way. Okay, let me start with his potty situation because I'm not, he's not crate trained in the traditional sense. He uses a little rascal, little squirt indoor dog litter box and that's fake grass and he pees on it and poops on it. And then there's like a grid and you don't have to use the grass. I can't really do it with one hand, but you can either just have an empty basin. I don't really want to like dump pee into the toilet, so I do line the bottom of it with a puppy pad. So that's where he's trained to use the bathroom. Because it feels like grass on his paws, he will go outside if I need him to. So that's why I wanted to go with that. So that's why his crate is so big, because I'm not using crate training as a potty training method. So on to his crate. This crate is probably for like a pony. Okay, joking. Probably for like a Great Dane or a really big breed dog. It did come with a divider that I just threw over here. I don't know the dimensions of it. I will link everything in the down bar. I wanted blue. And this is his area where he plays while I'm at work. He has a, I think this is by Katie, I don't know, don't know Katie, but that's his water bottle, and there's little duckies in it, so we know the level, and he knows how to drink from it. <gasps> you want some water? No. He also drinks from a bowl as well, and in his crate, it's kind of empty right now, because I just came home, and when I come home, he likes to take everything that I put in there with him, and he brings it to me, it's kind of cute. And a little bed, which he's kind of outgrown. And a Nyla bone, which kind of lives in here. But he's gonna take it. And so yeah, he stays in here when I'm at work, when I go out. I don't, he's only six months old, so I don't feel like he needs like house privileges yet. The few times he escaped his other pen, he's been home, he's been out for hours and he didn't really mess anything up or go to the bathroom or anything. It's just too much stuff you could get into. There's wires. I just don't want to worry about it. He's fine in here. He's safe in here. I leave the radio on. And this is a little condo. Like, he's living the life. And what I do like about this, it does have a tray at the bottom. So if he does 
which she hasn't yet, but if it gets gross or I want to clean it, I can just pull the tray out and clean it. Some people have asked me about this. This is from when I had the Iris pet pen. It has no floor. And as you can see, carpet. And this is where I wanted him to live, in this corner. Because my kitchen is awkward, my bathroom's small. I wanted him here, but I didn't want him on the carpet. So these are actually mats that I got from Lowe's. They're like interlocking mats. And I have, which I usually have a covered, a clear shower curtain under that. Just because I didn't want to mess up my carpet. Now that he's in here, it doesn't really matter too much because it does have a floor. And I probably can get rid of the mats, but they're not doing any harm. And he does knock over his water dish sometimes, so no spills. I Excuse you. So that's his house, and he does have his little hashtag fetch. He's licking my armpit. It's so gross. If I do leave him for work, which I put the radio on for him. His favorite station is 107.5. I don't know if it works. I feel like it filters out outside noises. So he's going back. You're such a good boy, my bulbas. You are such a good boy. Now you get, oh, you did good potties, you get a treat. For treats, for potty treats, I give him one of these Louisiana crab jerky with alligator. Natural dog treats. Came in a bark box and it's made of like organic, non-GMO, made in Louisiana. Who that thinks? I tried it on a dare, I don't really like it that much, but I'm not a fan of gator jerky. Things to keep him busy when I'm gone. As you can see, I'm a Kong hoarder, and if you don't know what a Kong is, you need to get like 18 of them. It's a hard rubber toy, and they come in different levels of chewer. This was a puppy one. I think this is just regular, red. But the puppy one's fine for him because he's a small dog. You can stuff these with anything you can imagine. And you can freeze them. So what I do when they're all empty, and he has one more. He's really excited because he sees it. When they're all empty, I restuff them and I freeze them. So in here is a mix of kibble, probably Cheerios. Not too many Cheerios, just like three or four. Just any kind of dog treats I have laying around. Mostly kibbles, 99% of what's in there. And then I take a little bit of wet food, wet puppy food. I seal the bottom and I freeze it. So on a good day, there's like six of them in my freezer. And I just toss it in his crate before I go to work. And he could care less, then I'm gone. Food and water. Ding! I feel like there should be like a little thing. I give him a mix of distilled water and filtered water. Just from this picture thing. Because he's fancy. He's not fancy. There's some people who believe that because he's a white dog and he gets, they're susceptible, whatever, that, <laughs> but the whole tear staining thing that it comes from minerals and things in the water. So to prevent that, using purified or distilled water will help. I don't know if that's true. The research seems pretty thorough. He's so small, it's not a big deal. A gallon, how much is this? Yeah, like a gallon? This lasts like almost like a month, maybe not a month, like two or three weeks. And they cost like a dollar. It's really not a big deal. And it's exercise. I mean, I have no problem giving him like sink water, like he's not gonna die. I'm just trying to avoid tear stains. Because I want to keep his face pretty. And he has some stains right now. Food wise, I get a ton of questions. Well, not a ton, but I get questions about his food. I feed him. I should probably show you the bag. Wellness. We went through, it took three different kinds of food before I found the one. One for us is Wellness Complete Health for. Puppies! He's so excited right now, I feel so bad. I wanted something where meat was the first ingredient. I didn't want anything with a bunch of fillers, dyes, because dyes can also be a cause of tear staining. I didn't want anything artificial, like, when it comes to what I feed him and give him, I'm like total granola, hippie, crunchy person. You can find this at any, like, um, pets, any pet store at any pet store, Petco, PetSmart, smaller dog boutiques, 
It's a really good brand of food. It might not work for everyone. I think the kibble size is fine because he's small. So this is the size of the kibbles and he has no problem with them. He's just being so good because he wants some of this good, good. Thank you. And I just keep it in a airtight rubber made. I don't, I don't know. I just keep it in there because it's just easier than pulling out the bag. And I buy the bags just because I always want a fresh bag. So I buy the six pound bags. I think I've bought this twice. I don't know. I actually don't know how long it takes to go through it. Because this is actually our second bag. I don't remember how long the first one lasted. I guess we'll do treats. And then maybe I'll make grooming stuff. Another video. Treat wise, he's taken over like my whole kitchen. Oh honey, it's not for you. Wellness puppy treats. When I first got him, he did not like any treats. I went through so many treats and he rejected them all. I don't know if his taste buds didn't develop because now he'll pretty much eat anything. But this is like our staple of treats. And they're, you can get them anywhere they sell wellness stuff. I subscribe to the Bark Box, so a lot of treats, I kind of stopped buying him treats and just, because I know there's always going to be like two bags of treats in a Bark Box. These are just banana chips. And he likes them. Do you want a banana chip? He won't eat banana, which is weird. It has to be banana chip. And it doesn't come like this. It actually came like in a little box. And this is just an empty candle thing. And I just wanted to make it look cute. And I failed, but whatevs. This one. I'm sorry, honey. You're not getting anything. These are something from a bark box. I think it's a chicken. I keep... Oh, I keep all the wrappers for everything I give him in case there is a recall. Probably a little OCD, and it's probably a little weird, but I do keep all the bags to everything, so I might actually need them to say what's what. These came in the Bark Box, Play-Doh, Organic Chicken Dog Treats, made in the USA, and I will only give him treats made in the USA, and all sourced in the USA and all parts, everything from the USA. I don't have the box for these anymore. These are liver, chicken liver, dehydrated. Smells like hamster food. I don't know what it smells like, but. Little Bill Jacks. I'm not a big fan of the brand Bill Jack. It's not the worst, but it's not one of the best. But I was going through like training treat hell with him, so I tried them, he likes them, but I don't give it to him too often. These Sniggy Snacks? And they just taste, they're like apple dog treats. Buffalo Blue Bars. I tried Buffalo Blue Puppy and Buffalo Wilderness Puppy Major Poop, but the food did not agree with him. And these are like some kind of, oh, banana and yogurt treats. He doesn't really like them too much. He'll eat it because he's at the point now where he's not picky. He's not real picky, but I could tell he's like, thanks, but I don't really like it that much. Oh, these are the beef, the liver treat things by a brand called Primal. These I love, and I thought because they came in the bark box, they'd be so hard to find, but I actually have seen them in my local pet co. Bully sticks. I don't even want to talk about these because it's gross because it's a bull's penis that my dog chews in his mouth for hours. Um, when my mom came to visit, she brought him these little treats. They're like little puffs. And just more little multi-flavored treats that my mom brought for him. More bull penises. This one's pretty short. I should probably throw it away. After they get real short, they can choke on them. And that's it for food. The only other food treat that I use for training now, Natural Balance. I use the rolls. And they look like, I don't know, like a sausage. Don't make fun of my accent. Whenever I say sausage and then people are like, oh my god, you have such a Long Island accent. Okay, sausage. It looks like a sausage. Make fun of me, I don't care. So I cut them up into teeny tiny pieces. And sometimes it turns into powder. It doesn't turn into powder, but get a little powdery. And I cut them into teeny tiny pieces since he's super small. So when we're working on any kind of training or obedience, he gets a piece of that size. Can you lay down? Good boy. It's small enough that I can give it to him, give a lot to him at one time, but not too much that it'll throw his whole system out of whack. 
and give him major poop but and that's it pretty much for food what oh and he only drinks out of a stainless steel dish or a glass dish there's another theory that plastic can lead to tear stainings i i don't know if it's true 